Hello everyone, I made this video to show you what I've been working on the last couple of weeks. In short form, it's a project-based asset management tool for my. It will help teams to organize the asset creation workflow and make sure every artist delivers the same output within the same directory. Because every 3D project requires a different amount of assets to be prepared and then layouts to create a shot. Um, so let's set a new Maya workspace. I have already done it. I'm working here in my workspace. And um, let's create a new text, a, a new asset. So here in my development tab, I have three icons create, edit, export, and import. If I press create, I can add an asset to my list inside of my working directory. Um, let's say we want to add our mushroom. It's our hero mushroom. And now we can give some infos to the layout artist when he imports it. He knows exactly what kind of asset he's importing in a scene. So it's it's a white mushroom. Uh, we need it in shot 10. And it's pretty much in the foreground. So let's create that. So um, now we create the asset, texture it. Um, and now we want to export it. So the whole idea is that you don't have to go into the explorer. You don't have to export it manually. It, it does it through these icons and will put it in the right place with the right naming and always back up for your versioning. So um, now you can see in our asset list, we have our hero mushroom. So it will detect that it's the first version of the edit. And now we can say we remodel it and uh, texture it. So let's press export. Um, let me quickly show you where this is exporting, what it does. So if you create a new asset, you will create this subfolder in your working space called assets. In here, you have more subfolders for each asset you create to your asset list. You will have one subfolder. So let me just dive in inside one so you can see what's actually going on. So there's this comment. Uh, this is your, your asset info in the text file. Then you have your edits and your main. Your edits are basically your versions of the asset. Whenever you export it again, it will create a new version for you. Um, these versions include a, a version comment. So what have you done in this uh, in this version? Your model and then your texture files. You will always copy your texture files with you, so you can always jump back and forth to all the versions. Um, yeah, right. So um, <clears throat> and then the last version always equals the main version in here because this version is what the layout artist is actually referencing in his scene right so the last <clears throat> last edit is always uh, overriding the main file so when you save a new version it will automatically update the reference file in the in the shot right okay so uh this is exported now so i will just uh, quickly save this edit scene and create a brand new scene so I'm now in the layout artist perspective. Uh, let's instead of going to the explorer, let's just go to import and see in our active working space we have multiple assets. Here's the list of assets, and let's for example choose our hero mushroom. We can see oh yeah, it's for shot ten. It's our white mushroom for the foreground. Perfect. Let's reference it, and maybe quickly just populate the scene. So we have a hero apple. What else have we got? A pear. Um, maybe a background egg and uh, red. So very quickly, you have all your assets and always the main asset in your scene, and you can start layouting. All right, so maybe that's that's what we want. Um, let's just save the scene. This is our shot 10. And now, of course, the, um, the client is not happy how the pair looks. So it should be bigger more more juicy um so the asset creation artist can just quickly go to edit and then go to the table pair you can see that's the version three and what have i done last read a and edit proxy texture all right and let's import this version three into our scene and start editing and uh, adjusting it with the feedback we got so i just i just quickly make it a little bit bigger Maybe here, maybe. So I just I just want to make it obvious for you. All right. 
maybe maybe that's it. Okay, so we have our new pair. Doesn't look better, but that's not always what the client wants. All right, so let's go to export again, and we have our table pair, and it's our version four. And now let's say we want uh, we we have remodeled the shape, different shape, and go to export. <clears throat> All right, so the layout us is opening a scene. And the pair is updated uh, because it always has the main the main file referenced, which just was replaced with the last version. Um, so the idea behind this is just to work organized so that every asset creator uh, creates in the same directory with the same naming and always have this versioning, so we can always go back to an older version. Uh, this also enables you to maybe export your main assets later on. So we got for each asset, we got our main asset right here, very organized. And we can then copy those into an external library, maybe for another use for another project or anything like this. But um, it will generate because it will uh, always copy the texture files for each version. It will take a little bit of disk space, but then once you finish your project, you can just go in, delete all your edits, your asset history, and then uh, just being left with the main version. So, um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, I hope um, it will give you an idea how this uh, asset management uh, works, and um, I will keep you updated on upcoming releases. Thanks. Bye.